everybody. I'm Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so glad you guys could join me today for a new Tuesday tip. Hey, about a month and a half ago, I shared a video with you with 10 different ways to stamp the inside of a card. You know, it can be a real challenge to know what to do with the inside of a card, but today we're gonna do it a little bit different. So last time I shared with you how to stamp the inside of the card, today we're gonna talk about how to use our dies to decorate the inside of the card. Okay. So for the first card, um, you can see that I use the uh, stained glass dies. And this one was really kind of interesting. So I took the long border die. I have a piece of very vanilla that is four inches by uh, five and a quarter. So it's gonna fit inside my card. You notice my border. I die cut that and you can see when I die cut it left that perfect rectangle I can just add that uh, detailed die right back in you can see how I did that here and then I did a little stamping and I did that with the butterfly wishes stamp set my next card was created with the tasteful textures bundle love this one it has three really fabulous dies and you notice let me bring this in you notice it actually die cuts an image out of a piece of cardstock same thing here four inches by five and a quarter and then i just took the die and ran that through my die cutting machine that left me a really great image. Now I do want to mention all three of these images will do this exact same type of technique. So that actually gives me three different ways I can decorate the inside of this card. For this card, I used one of the most amazing die sets ever. It's called Well Written. Look at all those different sentiments that we have. And let me show you what I did here. I took this die and then I used the word friend, but obviously you have a lot of options. For this card, I did use some cardstock that was just a little bit smaller. This is three and three quarters by five. And I simply die cut the word friend. And then my wonderful little floral image right here and of course you can see that now let that balmy blue shine through. Now what to do with those pieces? Well, I just added them to the front of the card um, or I could create an entirely separate card and make my focal image anything I wanted. But I loved the ability to use those dies for the inside of my card and the outside as well. I absolutely adore my stitched rectangle dies. These are one of my favorites. So for this one, I'm gonna use these two, the two smallest uh, rectangles. And I simply nested the two rectangles together. Now there's two ways you can do it. Uh, you can futz for a while, make sure you get those perfectly straight. Or the other way would be to die cut your rectangle just like that. And then from this piece, then you can come in and you can die cut your next rectangle. And when you do that, you can see it's going to allow me to stamp my sentiment right inside. Kind of gives me a really nice little border. This one you're going to get double duty out of. And what's not to love about that? So I'm going to be using the Frosted Frames die set. This is from the Holiday 2019 catalog. My sentiment, I use the stitched all around, but I think you can see any sentiment's going to do. Now my cardstock size is a little bit different because to get this frame to fit on the cardstock, it needs to be cut four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So it's a little bit, it's gonna go right to that edge. So what we're gonna do for this one is we will run this die through and you're welcome to go ahead and nest the other one inside if you'd like. We don't have to worry, you can see it's going to cut out the entire center. So I don't have to worry if this is straight or not, it's going to be just fine. So we can run that through the uh, die cutting machine and then you can see there's my die cut image there's the square that we die cut, and there's my negative. So what a great way to be able to use literally every bit of that card stock, and what a really pretty way to decorate the inside of that card. Birthday cards, there's one that we use a lot, right? I'm gonna be using the Broadway Lights die set for this. You notice we have a great big wish. Love this one. So let me bring in my card stock four inches by five and a quarter. I can just die cut my word wish and then I just stamped the makeup from the Broadway birthday stamp set. And then when that's die cut, you see it was just very simple to just add that and let that Pacific point really pop from the word wish. 
And what to do with that die cut word wish? Well, I just created an, another card using the same stamp set. I said, you're never too old to make a wish and just added some designer series paper and some silver uh, glimmer paper to really make it shine. So that's another great way that you can kind of get double duty from your dies for the inside and the outside of your card. This die set is probably one of the most versatile that we have because it is all the letters of the alphabet along with some symbols. This is one that I can create any sentiment I want. So I decided to create a simple little love card. And I did that with a piece of Whisper White cardstock four inches by a five and a quarter. I'm gonna spell out the word love and I'm just simply going to line these up just like that. Run that through my die cutting machine and then you can see it's going to allow the red to pop through. And what to do with those die cut letters? Well, why not use, uh, I use some real red and that is a uh, nested stitched label die. I just added my letters there and said, I love you. Two very simple, great cards for Valentine's Day. And what a great way to use one set of dies and create some really gorgeous things on the inside of my cards. The last card I wanna show you is a really great support card. This is using the support ribbon die set. And you can see I die cut that just out of a little scrap of Blushing Bride. And I want you to notice I ran it through my Subtles embossing folder. Gave it just some really nice texture, maybe a little more ribbon-like. And then I created just a simple little sentiment, you got this, and that is from the Genuine Gems stamp set. So a really great way to send love and support to someone who's dealing with cancer. And there you have it. There you go. I hope that some of those ideas inspired you. I hope that maybe they're dyes you already have, or maybe you even have some that in the back of your mind, you're going, oh, I know what I can do. So more than anything, I hope today's video really inspired you. But perhaps you want to order some of the dyes that you saw me use today, or you'd like to see more details about the cards. Here's what you can do. If you'll head over to simplysimplestamping.com and just look for the December 17th, 2019 blog post, I'll have this video here for you and photographs of the insides of all of my cards. As I said, I hope that they give you some more inspiration so that you can create some really amazing cards to share with family and friends. Who doesn't love to get a card, right? If you enjoyed the video today, I would love a thumbs up on YouTube. Thank you so much for that. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it's a great day to become a subscriber. Click that great big red subscribe button and YouTube will let you know whenever I'm back with a new video. I would love to have you back for more Tuesday tips and a lot more stamping inspiration right here on my channel. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.